Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to Wrestler Weekly Presents, episode 8, 1982. This is part two of three for 1982. Thank you for joining me. I am very pleased that you have decided to click and watch our episode this week. But before we get started, I want to send our condolences and on behalf of Wrestler Weekly, our thoughts and prayers go out to the Bobby Heenan family. Bobby the Brain Heenan passing away this week, the greatest manager of all time. I sent out a tweet earlier this week with he and two world champions, Nick Bockwinkle and Ric Flair, and uh, he was the best. Uh, just no two ways about it uh, from his early beginnings in the AWA all the way through uh, even down to the short stint, I was talking to my buddy Austin Idol uh, a few days ago, and we were talking about uh, Bobby's brief stint in Georgia Championship Wrestling. And Austin said, you know, Bobby, he was all baseball. And that's all he wanted to talk about was baseball, and he was a big fan. And, and Austin and I are big New York Yankees fans, so uh, we're uh, looking forward to the playoffs. And so my, uh, again, my... Uh, thoughts and prayers go out to the family and uh, for this week. And so uh, I speak on behalf of all fans everywhere that have chimed in on us and uh, have talked about Bobby and what a great career, an icon and a legend. All right, this week, part two of three, this is what we're going to do. I've got four magazines that we're going to spotlight. And all four of these are... Um, special magazines because they are signed by two wrestlers, uh, each signed by those that were in the cover feature match. And so before we get started on that, a couple shout outs. One, our Sunday shout out this week, and I'll continue it here on our episode. Tom Yervelli, you are the man. Thanks for watching. And also uh, going out to... Um, Timothy Lacey from Arkansas. Thank you for buying a Wrestler Weekly t-shirt this week. And if you'd like to pick up your Wrestler Weekly t-shirts, you can go to ProWrestlingTees.com, ProWrestlingTees.com slash Wrestler Weekly. Pick those up. And so without further ado, Inside Wrestling, April of 1982, What a great mag. Let me make sure we get it in the, in the shot there. But this is signed by the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, and the before mentioned Nick Bockwinkle. And this was a great magazine when Dusty Rhodes uh, had just lost the NWA world title in 81. And so this being April of 82, so you could, you could kind of factor in that this match took place sometime at the end of 81 before it finally made uh, the magazine, but what a great magazine with Dusty Rhodes battling for the AWA world title. I mean, what, how great would that have been had Dusty Rhodes won the AWA world title? And so this is signed by Nick. It's also signed by Dusty. Uh, also has a little caption at the top there with the Black Jacks, Black Jack Mulligan and Black Jack Mulligan Jr., better known as Barry Windham. And so start hot, the hot mag, Dusty Rhodes, Nick Bockwinkle. Now going to number two, this is The Wrestler, June of 1982. And this has probably two of my favorite wrestlers of all time, signed by Ricky Steamboat and Ric Flair. And I uh, privileged to have met both of these guys at Dorton Arena. Uh, and be able to sign, have them both sign this on the same day. Very special moment to be able to walk and talk to Ric Flair and then walk over and have the privilege of, of speak, seeing Ricky Steamboat, both my idols growing up in the Mid-Atlantic Championship area. And so just, just an awesome opportunity uh, to see them both. This is from June of 82 and what battles they had. I mean, the, one of the greatest rivalries of all time. 
I was lucky enough to see them wrestle in a high school, on a high school football field back in the late 70s as a kid. And um, so to be able to see them many years later and tell them about that and then get them to sign this magazine is just uh, priceless for me. All right, number three. This one is, uh, this is to me, this is one of my gems, if you will, as far as collecting. Um, I had the opportunity of purchasing this magazine that had Jack Briscoe's autograph. Uh, and Jack had already passed by the time I had picked this magazine up. This is from April of 82, The Wrestler. And then a few years ago, being able to uh, see Ric Flair, meet Ric Flair, and be able to, to lay this magazine down and have Ric talk about just the legacy that Jack Briscoe. I know one thing, when I put a tweet out about Jack Briscoe, I mean, it, it, it just explodes. There's so many Jack Briscoe fans out there uh, still today, which is great to see. And, and obviously, um, you know, we, we interact with Jerry uh, quite a bit. But, uh, but this is a great mag with two legends. Early on in, in the reign of Ric Flair, um, in his first reign as NWA World Champion, and then the former NWA World Champion who carried the title with such dignity and grace. That's the, the two things that you hear about Jack Briscoe, not to mention a, a tremendous athlete. Uh, for those younger fans that are not familiar with Jack Briscoe, you've got to do, do some research, go online, go to YouTube, and check out Jack. What a phenomenal wrestler. And be able to kind of pass the torch, if you will, just another one of those uh, in, in the same vein as a Harley Race, a Dusty Rhodes, a Jack Briscoe, being able to kind of thrust Ric Flair even more so into the spotlight. And so it brings me down to my last mag. And uh, this is a mag that I recently completed, if you will, in getting a wrestler to sign it. And again, we, we have the two wrestlers, Nick Bockwinkle, Dusty Rhodes, Ricky Steamboat and Ric Flair, Jack Briscoe and Ric Flair, and hard to top it, but I'm going to try. This is the wrestler February of 82, my good friend Tommy Wildfire Rich, and the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, both on the cover, Rick with the NWA title, and this says number one challenger, Tommy Rich, who, you, as you know, was the former NWA World Champion at this time, the Magnificent Battle of the Golden Boys. NWA Champion Ric Flair. Uh, I went back to a little research. These guys wrestled um, one, you know, it's, it's a little, gets a little uh, gray. There's a little gray area on exactly how many, depending on what site you use. There was one site that I, that I saw today and uh, they had them wrestling 31 times, and I remember um, a couple things. One is growing up and being a Ric Flair fan, and we didn't have cable, so the way that I knew about Tommy Wildfire Rich was through the magazines, and Bill Apter loved Tommy Wildfire Rich, but it wasn't so much that he loved him, but fans loved him. He was the hot commodity. People say he was Hulk Hogan before Hulk Hogan. National TV exposure on the cover of the magazine. When you're at in, in line at the grocery store and you're pulling the magazines, he was the the hot guy. And then you had Ric Flair, who was just was tremendously. I mean, he was on fire. And you talk about wildfire. I mean, you got two guys that were on fire: Mid Atlantic, Georgia, and they wrestled quite a few times. What's interesting about this magazine? is the article in the magazine is about a match they had in Columbus, Ohio. And it was a match that went to a one hour draw time limit. I mean, so you got a one hour time limit, the one hour Broadway, if you will, of the former champ, Tommy Wildfire Rich, and the current champ, Nature Boy, Ric Flair. And um, I, I what's funny is uh, when uh, you know, we just, Tommy and his family, and, and, and you know, I, I moved to Myrtle Beach. And so we, we all kind of moved at the same time. 
And I remember my wife and son went to uh, to go see Tommy and his wife and and uh, at their house. And I told my son Miles, I said, "Hey, you know, we're going to go and see a wrestler." And he said, "Oh, we're going to go see Ric Flair." And I said, "No, no, 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 we're, we're going to go see Tommy Wildfire Rich." Uh, so I said, "You may not want to mention Ric Flair because we're going to go see Tommy Rich." And so when we were in the living room there with Tommy, and Tommy was uh, hamming it up with 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 the uh, Miles, and and uh, so I asked Miles, I said, "Hey, you know, didn't you want to see if uh, if you know ask Tommy a question?" And so Miles said, yeah, did you ever beat Ric Flair? And so uh, it was funny. We had a good time. And Tommy said, you know, I I didn't beat him as much as he beat me, but I did get him a few times. And uh, and that was the case. But what a great uh, magazine signed by uh, two of my favorites, uh, Tommy Wildfire Rich and Nature Boy Ric Flair. And just to to go back, because you know I, I love to do it anytime we get an inside wrestling and we can open it up and go inside the mag. This is the, I guess this is the inside the mag uh, segment. So let, let's just call it that. The inside the mag segment to the official ratings just so we can see who's at the top. Bob Backlund. Nick Bockwinkle and Ric Flair with the NWA title. And also look at Rick as number one for most hated Andre, most popular in the tag team, number one tag team, the Andersons. And so I always like to do that. And even if it's not so much doing it uh, for you guys watching, I love it. It's my favorite. And so we're going to wrap up this week's episode. Don't forget, next week we conclude 1982, part three of three, next week. And so if you'd like to join us in our conversations on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, go to at Wrestler Weekly. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Wrestler Weekly. So whenever 9 o'clock hits on Wednesday nights, you get your episode in your inbox. If not, you can follow us on our social media accounts and you can get the link there as well. And so again, thanks for joining me. Thanks for following. VIP information is up on our website, wrestlerweekly.com. You can find VIP membership information. We have a lot of things we're going to do. We're giving every day. We go behind the hashtag. And so all of our VIP members are getting daily videos of whatever we're putting out in hashtag. So follow us on that. Subscribe. You can go to our website and subscribe for free and get some information as well. Again, thanks for joining me. So long. Until next time.